In this video, we are going to learn first more about what is onboarding. Now, in your lifetime and whenever you are using different products, you have seen a lot of time a screen where it says, let's get started or tap here to begin your journey or something like that. So most of the time, when you launch a product, most of the users, they are going to skip. They are not going to watch that video. They are not going to uh, tap over there. They are trying to get to the product. So they really want to use that product rather than, you know, uh, seeing your tutorial or your three different screens, one, two, three, three features. This is really, really uh, failing in these days. So let's get started and see what is on onboarding. So onboarding is first concept uh, you have to make sure is that it is not a single flow or single interaction. It is a lot of uh, activities and steps within a process. So it is a process rather than a single step. So uh, what you want to do or what you want to achieve is that you want to uh, have your user, new user, become a core user of your product. So you can see over here, we have a uh, Wear OS earlier version and that was from Google. And when they launched this, they had a simple um, tap to watch or tap to configure kind of this uh, uh, onboarding tutorial. And most of the users, I think 70 to 80% of users, they actually skipped it. So this is why I think that most of the time onboarding User onboarding is very important if you are launching or creating a user experience of your product. Now let's talk about the second misconception, which is onboarding, uh, how we have to think about the onboarding. So you can see uh, onboarding is not just a front loading instructions. It's not just two or three instructions that how to use this product, but it is an, a user guidance that is going to be uh, inside the context. Context is always the king. I always say that in all my user experience design courses that context is going to shape the user experience. So does this in uh, user onboarding. So if you are onboarding your user, you have to see the context. So if they are coming from different background um, or maybe they are looking for something else. Uh, so all the users, two or three different users, they are going to be arriving at your product from different sources. So their context would be different. So you can see uh, we have two diagrams over here. One is onboarding first time use. Uh, if you think that this is just going to be the first time use, this is not um, great because it is a misconception. So first time use is not, this is not what onboarding is. And then we are going to move it to the established usage. And now you can see onboarding is actually a continuous step of guiding the user. So first time use, then we have onboarding. So it is just, uh, it is not just a one step ladder. It is a multiple step ladder until your user is a core user of your product. Now let's talk about why your onboarding is so important. First thing is that user is going to uh, find your product. So we need to know how they actually found your product, what expectations they have from your product, how and in which form the established users will be. So what do you think that established users will be and what are their common routines, how they actually perform different actions or activities that involve on your product. Also, you are going to see different barriers. Um, for example, maybe someone else was trying to use another product, similar product like yours, but they actually left that product and came to your product. What was the reason behind that? Were they having some barriers on that particular product or your competitor's product? And also we have to learn what are the workarounds they are trying to, you know, uh, develop. So maybe users, uh, uh, I have seen my kids. So whenever they play games on their mobile, 
so what they do is my my little kid he is like four years old so whenever some ad actually pop up during his play time so he's playing the game and uh, i i didn't know i had to wait uh, for the ad to skip but what he did is it was really amazing so he had a workaround to use that uh, product or that game during uh, the advertisement time so he actually closed the game or minimize the game then he goes to the game icon again play the game again and the ad has been gone so that was a really amazing workaround for me because i i thought that this is a big step that if your user is having some problem and what uh, the workarounds they are trying to develop so um, one more thing is that which products they actually used before coming to your product did they try anything else before so these are the things that are really really important when you are onboarding a user and all these things are going to answer how you are going to develop or build your user experience for onboarding your product so that is all uh, in this lesson i hope you have learned something new and uh, you have made the concept of that onboarding is not a single set of instructions or a single uh, instance in your product it is a continuous process where user is going to learn and we are going to guide the user to become a core or established user i will see you soon in another uh, lesson or the next lesson till then take care bye bye